I changed the game and then I left the game for a change. In order for me to give you a full comprehensive understanding of my life in the drug game and the 10 years experience I've had in it, I have to give you a brief overview of my beginning. I started selling drugs at the age of 14 in Mansfield, Louisiana on North Street in an area known as the Hood. My childhood friends and I started a small gang. We called ourselves Five Deuce Hoovers, named after one of the biggest gangs out of California who Ricky Freeway Ross supplied his drugs to. The very drug house we stand before in this picture will be burned down by the police in order to try and stop our gang and the continuation of our drug sales from the location. The burning down of this house was the ending of our gang and the beginning of me selling drugs solo later on to become one of the biggest drug dealers in Mansfield of my time. Baby Jerry, you about 14, 15 years old. Uh, I met him at the age of 16. He had H.O. driving around, man, at the age of 14, man. Doing the business, making his own money, got his own car, and whip. You know what I'm saying? Every time you see him, you know what I'm saying? You, it gotta be hard on the side, you know? Like I drive around, you know what I'm saying? What you want? Uh, I was the man, y'all get in the house. And I kick you anyway, you want know, all this week. I said, man, why don't you get some money? I said, man, you give me my house, I'll make my own money. But he paid well. I used to get in Baton Rouge, New Orleans. Uh, ooh, I mean, I've been time with all that Texas. Uh, I did all the drive, but he paid well. I mean, he paid me what I want. And then he went, he went shop chain. They ain't no shop chain, ain't joke. That's, that's what you call lardy. My first week selling drugs, I made thousands of dollars. Dollars, dollars, dollars. I went and bought my first car, and since that day, Harvey drove me around. He was like my personal, personal chauffeur. Chauffeur, chauffeur, chauffeur. Everywhere I went, he drove me. Places that I didn't want to get out and go, he went for me. Um, every time I get out the car, he'd he open the door for me. He'd close the door. Every time I get out the car, he'd open the door for me. He'd close the door. Nowhere in the car that I drive it. And I drive it. I mean, uh, when he get out the car, I get out and open the door for him. Uh, when he not get to the door to go into my house, I knock on the door. He got things to say, I start it off, and then he take over. Uh, my job was to bag all the dope up. Clientele, you gotta have a car done to deliver what other people wouldn't do. So that's what we did. We used to have an all night flight. But I always controlled the drugs. You never want to touch the drugs. And we started out with the 50s. Then in the end, we started doing ounces, uh, half a keys. But something every week but you know the packs would actually be due on the first and the reason why they paid me on the first was because most of the times I had to go pay my connect on the third so that would give me a day to collect all my money and then you know by the time it's time for me to go pay my connect I have all this money 